Check this out. Uh, this is the new Traxxas X-Max. Uh, in person, these trucks are just phenomenal to look at. This is the newly, uh, soon to be released, of course, 8S LiPo ready, completely upgraded. And we were lucky enough to get two of these sent to us by Traxxas. So we can show it off to you guys, the differences uh, between our old one and the new ones and just overall, Oh, wow. It, it's got a wow factor. It does have a wow factor indeed. It's, it's, it's hard to, to tell the size of this rig. That's why we put it on the racetrack here. Uh, uh, wow. What are you talking about? Wow, yeah. There, there's a small, yeah, small car right there. Okay, let's have a look inside. I know everybody's excited uh, to have a look at the new X-Max. Ev, one of the things I noticed right away are the different packages, of course. One is red, has red aluminum, yeah. uh, red wheel nuts there. One, this, this one's all blue, eh? Beautiful body here, yeah. And then, of course, this is just like what I had, the version I had, uh, all blue shocks, blue wheel nuts. That's right, mine was red before, so we're it, doing opposites exactly. now. Exactly, we wanted to do opposites. We actually paid for our first X-Maxes. I got mine at Action Hobby. Where'd you get yours? Action Hobby. Yeah. yeah, a local hobby store. We were supporting them here, of course. And you know, one of the things I think that we feel mutually about these cars, uh, the, the first X-Max that came out, 6S was amazing. Uh, the self-writing system we saw was great, but it's it, all right. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and that's, that's what I was about to get at. The 6S actually seemed a little bit sluggish, would you say? Yeah, it felt, a little, it felt like it just needed a little more. While it was amazing, don't get me wrong, yeah, yeah. it seemed like it could power through anything. First, just, when you're driving it full out, you just wanted to be like, where's a little more? Yeah, yeah. And when I used the self-writing system on it, I noticed that I was snapping CVs in here. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a problem because the whole way it self-writes is it spins those tires and starts using that rocking motion to get it back up on the wheels. So that yeah, they I beefed them up now. They, everything's been beefed up from what I understand. The, diff, the center, everything's been beefed up. Looks like they went with a fan system on top of the heat sink now. Wow. Yeah, amazing. Beefed so, up the ESC. So 8S capable now. So the 8S batteries that we have, I think, are 6,700 6, milliamp hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that'll give us a, you know, quite a bit of good runtime. Got a wheelie bar on it now too. Hey, oh, yeah. oh, it's got bearings in it. Very nice. Oh yeah, nice. It needed a wheelie bar. <laughs> I bet on 8S. I it, bet on 8S. It's a requirement. It for needs sure. a super wheelie bar. So we did, uh, one of the things that I was an idiot and did when I first got my X-Max <laughs> is throw, can you get those pieces yeah, over there? Because for those that don't know, uh, different sizes of LiPo batteries can go in here, right? Different uh, setups. And what do they have included here? So folks? you got some foams, right, for your different battery sizes to secure them in there. Right, so they don't slide back and forth. Um, not sure what that is for, right, quite yet. Yeah, okay. We'll have to look that up. The big piece is what I want to know. And this is what he wants to see here. To also hold smaller batteries insecure. Right. Can you assemble that for us? Let's see if I can how? remember how it went. I think it went. It's been a while. I put you on the spot, bro. Yeah. Just like that. Nice. And so it adds uh, the ability to add a. a yeah, like if we had cell. a smaller light bulb. It fits the standard size, like my 3S uh, Venom and Common Sense and yeah. you know, things like that. That just able to lay them in flat and lay right on there the battery for sure like just holds them in tight right and of course you already put a foam in here or no that no, one's that's in there stock, yeah so if we had another foam and you do need one for the uh, smaller regular size so up if you're gonna run 6s so up like this for wires to go through i would imagine so or because it's as as sticky mine. on there right so i think it actually yeah, may go probably, like this maybe like that oh you know what that is how then, my that is how I have it in mind. Is it? In the hey. regular standard X-Max, yeah. yeah. I'll open up the instruction book and get it I think it, down. it comes standard like that, maybe. Man, I'm just amazed. This is a, a, a king truck, I just gotta say it's, it, man. It's, the, it's a beast. It's a king truck. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> you know what, one one thing I noticed is that everything, the, the truck is, is I'm gonna say it's heavy. It, it is heavy. It's, it's solid. When we were looking at the Sen Reapers that we have uh, recently, uh, it's a much lighter truck. It's it is impressive. The Sen Reaper is a beautiful truck. This one has been super engineered for just a beating, I think. Yeah, I would. You know what? I, they're pretty. Uh, they're Di pretty solid rig. They're, have, they're different. Completely different. I mean, we haven't ran the heck out of that one to get no. it to go, but it's so much lighter. Yeah. That you don't need everything to be as beefy. Yeah. Know? Well, and this is a different scale, man. It's everything. Everything totally is bigger. 
the the steering six, six, servo six scale as well bigger bigger truck oh yeah that's exactly it's a giant yeah, should we put the larger steering servo you're correct shall yeah. we put them side by side let's yeah, have a like look it, yeah we, let's, we should get the other Hold one on. the old one too actually after you do that and the and, and the old x max yeah yeah let's see some differences okay let's see lengthwise this looks like here so like from there to there okay so man it looks amazing <laughs> yeah, about, about right there so okay so overhead shot so the, you know what the reaper is huge man yeah the reaper is a huge truck the the x max is slightly larger uh longer that way a bit taller yeah and it is a bit taller overall but here are the competitors so one seven scale one six. One six scale. Very, very close. Uh, and this is between the weight. I think about 10 pounds different. With my batteries in there, it's very close to what this is. I've got 6S in there, 5,000 uh, uh, milliamp each on two 3Ss. Feel, feel the weight on this. What do you think? Uh, it's, yeah, with the batteries, it's close. I think I read it's 10 pounds. Though. Okay, cool. Man. I didn't connect the body up. So here, we let me grab the box here. Sure, sure. We're getting set up for friends to come over and race with us. I got the racetrack outside, the fifth scale track all uh, pushed off of all the snow. Here's Look. some of the changes from the standard one. Yes, excellent. Right. So it volts. changes all the drivetrain. Max duty drivetrain, torque bias and center drive, dual fan motor cooling, and the wheelie bar. Amazing. Show me the front of that box, man. <laughs> We're all flipped upside down. That oh, looks like it's on fire and it's it's dirt. <laughs> Driving through some lava. Yeah, yeah. Oh, breaking the track. Okay, so you want to see the old X Max beside it, hey? Yeah, I think we should just have a look. Ta-da! Who recognizes this flame body? This is a double dip flame dip plus paint uh, from Pit Dog Hydro. I ended up doing an unboxing of this right before the winter came out uh, of this beautiful body that I have here. Also, we ended up getting a General Lee body, but I love this one. It really pops against the snow. And you can see on the inside, it's actually much different. The ESC is totally different. This is the old 6S, even though this was the updated version. Uh, I ended up adding a castle uh, dual fan setup on here because the motor would get so hot. And yes, I did pull things with, uh, uh, I did pull the judge with this truck here, which is a weight pulling sled. And I ended up putting on quite a show where I ended up stripping the gears out. Now Everett's new blue one right here, Hey, <laughs> what's going on? Movie magic. Hey, if I, uh, two custom bods, man. Custom bods. Oh, nice. So how long is how long have you had this one? Hey. Oh, a few months. Scooby Doo. Where are you? Hey, right on, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that looks amazing. Is this interpretation a of the mystery machine? Holy cow. Is this uh, yeah, buddy, uh dipped? MR Painting did it for me? MR Painting. Matt Brass, you betcha. Yeah, and where's- Check him out on Facebook. Where's he located? Uh, he's like in, I don't wanna totally, hopefully I don't offend anybody, I think it's Iowa. Oh, okay. Or in the States. Maybe we can put a link to his Facebook in the video description. Yeah. Here's his little logo right here, actually. So tell me more about this body then. It's, it's hydro dipped. No, no, pure airbrushing. So he all does it all, airbrush. all hand cut. He just, you know, lathers it up in some, uh, <laughs> in uh, what do you call that uh, stuff wow. for bodies, you know? I don't know actually. I can't remember the name of yeah. it right now. I'm just the gloss. brain blank because I'm on camera, right? The, so. the gloss on this is amazing. This yeah, is, this it is. is. That's not a decal? Decal? No, man. He cut that. Hand cut. Holy cow, man. So anyway. Back here, it's really hard to see, but uh, it says the mystery machine, and he's got a haunted house all in here, spooky stuff. Oh, yeah, we can see it. Check it out. Cool, man. So we just flipped the cage over on That's the... Right. Yeah, just put the new bits on it. On the stock it. one. Here, as a side note, when we were changing over the body, Everett suggested we actually had a good look at the um, at the whole locking mechanism for the back of the X-Max. This is pretty unique. Instead of having body posts, the X-Max actually has this uh, twisting lock mechanism here that actually helps keep the body uh, to the chassis. Now, on the front, we do have a front clip piece. I'll yeah. show you right here. 
So it just kind of hooks in to the cage, yeah, to the chassis itself. And then on the back where this little piece goes right here, it clicks down and locks over. X-Max owners have seen this before, but for a lot of folks that have been wondering about body posts and how these giant bodies stay on, uh, this is a fairly innovative creation from Traxxas. Now we're, we're basically, uh, Getting ready to rip, hey? We're ripping, man. This one here has to go over on this truck, are we not? Sir? Yeah, well, it? I am gonna take this one, pop it over right now. You wanna do the back for me? Bum, 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 bum. These new bodies are nice, though. They, they are. The new design on them, if you have a close look. Yeah, really slick. Really keeps in line with uh, the, the, the Traxxas brand to how they do their bodies, hey? It looks a lot like the E-Revo. You know what, it is a gorgeous body though. Yeah, here's my E-Revo body up here. It's fairly similar. But now these two. <laughs> we wanna be uh, looking separating ourselves though. Oh yeah, well that totally, we can see each truck perfectly now, man. That, that's an amazing truck, Yeah, it looks so slick. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in for our first look at the Traxxas X-Max with mystery the 8S eight, eight LiPo double dip fire. We got the mystery <laughs> machine, and uh, we want to take these outside and rip. Now, we're still waiting for a little bit of warmer weather here, uh, but this certainly gives you a good look, a first overview of these Traxxas X-Max 8S trucks. Ev, did you have fun? Woo! Yeah, man, we're, we know we're spoiled, but we just, we just wanted to show you what we have here and what you guys can get too. So big or small, we love to drive them all. Get outside and enjoy the hobby of RC. Until next time, my friends, take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.